everybody welcome back to the channel it is the morning of day 49 and this is a holiday special for seven days to die um, this is a seven day horde night so day 49 will be a horde night uh, it is the morning and I just want to introduce you to the base I've been working on kind of in this uh, not really a series but uh, the playthrough I've been doing um, on my own in my downtime so this is uh, Trader Bills this is uh, the building that I've been working on now this originally was the uh, uh, plating building which is one of the new POIs that was added into the game and I think it really only has one zombie in it when you start off um, the basic framework of the building is still the same I've added all this up here on this side but the basic framework of the building is still identical to the original I have upgraded everything to reinforce concrete and repainted it all um, this is still the original from the base is the reason why that's the whole reason why there's a gap there um, the doors are all the original doors which I left on I leave them open so the zombies don't wreck them uh, we've kind of added a bit of a sidewalk around the outside here now I never finished it off I was going to add it around the whole base here um, but early on this portion here of the building if you come around back uh, it starts off with this door open so this is kind of the way you come into the building or one of the ways you can come in um, so I've filled this with um, barbed wire right now because we can uh, once we get inside we'll be able to see it. there's a big opening in the top here where we can just kind of look down and fight the horde inside here now this is a great early game base but for a late game base I've kind of decided to go with the one I've done in my last series um, which was surviving alpha 18 and it is this base right here now this base with the screw zombies sign on the side has been improved over the last one that I did I'll take you inside here in a second it's kind of tricky to get in here uh, there's no access to this base unless you uh, throw down some frames to climb in but it is the same idea where the zombies come up here try and make their way along this pathway and get to the door now I've changed things a bit before I had one block wide now it's a half a block wide with an angle that goes off steeply so any zombies along here will slide right off and come back around these posts here are all reinforced concrete these are reinforced concrete blast shield plates for our um, our uh, electrical wire that runs across here there's three strands of wire that runs across hopefully it'll last for the whole fight but we'll see how it goes the idea is the barbed wire slows them down uh, the electrical wire will do the same but hopefully keep them in position and right in that spot right there where those bars is are that's where I'll be sitting for the first part of the horde night uh, we've got a big spotlight out here to show shine down the alleyway here uh, but that's where I'll be standing shooting straight down on them here they're gonna be basically coming straight into my line of fire so we'll be looking for headshots I place the barbed wire at leg level uh, in order to avoid triggering any, any demolishers now I don't think we're tr we'll trigger it with barbed wire but having it here at least will um, uh, maybe even cripple their legs knock them down I can take headshots from back here so that's the goal for this platform now I had at the end here a couple of dart traps that kind of extended out uh, and were firing straight down this way so I could turn them on from inside the base once the zombies had knocked out all these barbed wire I could just shoot them in the back with the dart traps but uh, it fell um, I was reinforcing it with uh, reinforced concrete and the whole thing just fell and it got destroyed so that's kind of off the plate for tonight um, as you upgrade the, this kind of form of base um, things get just get heavier and heavier and I had it out on a pole now I could have put them on poles like this uh, I do have two more dart traps and I will we'll be doing that for the next horde but uh, you can put it on a pole that stands up like this just at the end here and wire it up so you can uh, throw a switch on in the base have a relay here that w goes to the wires here and uh, uh, shoot the, the uh, zombies in the back now the reason why you want to use the dart traps from behind the zombies and straight down the alleyway is you're pretty much guaranteed to hit if you use them from the sides they may get hit once and they'll go past it and then you're just wasting darts but if they're at the back here shooting them straight from behind you have almost zero chance of activating any demolishers because um, you're shooting them in the back and it's going to be a constant hit for anyone that's on this walkway from here you have them stacked too high so one hitting the legs one hitting the back uh, and you hit them all the way as they go up to the door uh, now we're going to take you inside the base because actually let's go around this way real quick just show you what this side's like so it's the same thing here those are where the electrical fences are 
Uh, there's two rows of iron spikes all the way around this platform. Now, generally, they won't attack this platform. They might tonight, though, because I've got a different plan for tonight. But they might attack this platform. And this base is great because this blocks are too wide. Um, and this is fully solid concrete, uh, reinforced concrete, 7x7. Seven seven. So they got to knock out uh, basically, what, 49 times 2, so 98 blocks in here to take this whole thing down. 98 reinforced concrete blocks and you can upgrade this to steel if you want but I never bought it but this being too wide uh, even if you started with a base like this uh, and this was all wood to start you can easily upgrade this as you go along to um, cobble concrete then reinforced concrete then steel if you want I don't go to steel because they generally don't attack these and being too wide if a demolisher kind of or a cop goes off down here they're not going to knock this down it'll stay up for quite a while okay so did I hear something no. All right, let's get inside. So this I've kind of left the original base. You notice the original glass is still in a lot of this. I have some bulletproof glass I'm going to be adding into these, but I don't really care. If zombies pour in here tonight, it won't matter. This base is a base of last resort right now. So this is the only way up. So we got a reinforced steel door down here. And then we hop up here. And another reinforced door at the top. You can hear a junk turret humming in the background there so this is our uh, kitchen area our main floor area this is where all the cooking and stuff is done and then this this is uh, basically storage for stuff that I'm gonna take to the trader to sell up on the second floor up here this is basically where all the work is done concrete uh, mixing in here do we have my shotgun I do my shotgun barrel extender mod which I just got it's gonna uh, modify this guy real quick add that in so now we got uh, what's the magazine size it said 10, it should be more. Or 8. This... Wait, is this the... Uh... I think I got the wrong mod here. Oh, it's the bear... Ah, right. Sorry, I thought that was the uh, the shotgun uh, extender tube, but it wasn't. It was a barrel extender I had. So I made that by mistake. No big deal. Okay, so what we're going to do... And what I'm afraid of tonight, I'm a little bit worried of what's going to happen. So this junk turret here, I've kind of moved back. Normally I have it up here, facing down to shoot zombies coming in from this side, and another one on that side, shooting down to hit them coming through the door on this side. Um, but I've got it back here tonight because I'm worried about uh, possibly zombies breaking through and getting into the base this way. So that's why it's there. This base is really right now a base of last resort. As you can see, we have our vulture protection from up here. So you could just stand up here and throw stuff down on them, shoot them, sh shoot straight down. Sometimes they'll get confused and just stand right here. But as you can see, we can see the walk, like the walls from here. So we can shoot zombies all over. There's an entranceway there because they can come in through the windows and stuff and or through the open doors and just come through here. That door is open, they can come in here if they want. So going up this way, the only way into this base is, we hit a second junk turret activating in here, by adding our frames, reinforced steel door, not that it matters. So we have a junk turret in here. This junk turret covers this hatchway, which goes down below where we're going to be mostly fighting. It also covers this window, which is completely open so we can throw stuff down on the zombies here. I have got grenades, molotovs, all kinds of stuff to throw down on them tonight. Uh, mostly grenades and molotovs, some contacts, some regular grenades. Uh, I've also got a rocket launcher, but that's what this platform is for. Once they've kind of cleared out this down here and they're starting to stack up at the door here, we can stand right here, pretty much avoid cops, and just toss stuff down on them. Now my big fear is that being up here, they're not going to see a way to get to me, so they may not use this walkway. I haven't tested this out yet, but we'll find out tonight. So let's go down here real quick. I want to add another ladder here too, I think, because I think having this extra jump it's going to throw them off. They think they can't get to me, so I got this now, so we can just come straight up here. No big deal. Okay, so down here we've got a, our shotgun turret. It's got 600 rounds of ammo, or 300 rounds of ammo, sorry. Right, set up in here. It can get this door and fire on this door too. Uh, let's hope it doesn't run out of ammo. If it does, well, no big deal. So this I've improved on. This is the same as my last series. Basically, we shoot through here. Um, once they stack up on the door. Now in here, I've improved this slightly. As you notice, a double door now. This is all, not all of it, but it says reinforced steel. It looks like reinforced steel, but it's really just this front wall. It's reinforced steel. The rest is just concrete. I just painted it like steel. This whole thing is painted. Now we got a double door here as well. 
right? So they're going to come stacked up on this door. They got a second door to go through. So that's a uh, triple reinforced steel door. So it's 7,000 times three plus double doors. So it's times six. So 42,000 hit points to get through these doors. This door will leave closed to start and we're going to stand right here. Now, if they don't take the bait initially, we can open one door, which will give it less hit points. And you notice right here, we can just stand right here, right here, right down there. Boom, 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 boom. As, they're, as long as they're coming along this pathway, we can headshot them all night long. I got a scope on the AK. We've only got one AK tonight. I don't have two like I had the last time. Uh, we're going to have our bow on us as well because I've got uh, exploding... Um, I got some uh, exploding arrows that I can use on them too. So if they stack up down here, we can shoot some arrows down. Uh, so that's that. I'm going to close this up. Let's get back inside here. So once they begin to break through that door or they've finished, like I can't shoot them as well, we're going to come in here, close these doors and deal with the rest of them right here. Which is why I'm hoping, as they begin to stack up on the door, I'm hoping that this, if I'm up here, they'll still see it as a way to get to me. Um, and I can take care of them from up here. Uh, just throw stuff down on them as they stack up on the door. So Molotovs, whatever, we'll just shoot them from here. You notice it's angled on the other side and this side. It's a very, very narrow platform that they can stand on. So they can't be stacked too high. This is to stop them from getting up. Now, spider zombies might jump up to me up here, but they're spider zombies, not really wor that worried about it. Plus, we got the junk turret back here. So if they do land, they got to contend with the junk turret. Uh, it's got 80 rounds of ammo, so it's got plenty. Uh, the these are metal bars protecting our light so any cop spit or vulture spit will be hopefully mitigated by that and if we turn this on you can see I got lights in here too up here and down below so we should have plenty of lights tonight there's the light there and I got my helmet light we should have lots of light so we'll have tons of uh, brightness so we can see what we're doing let's just turn this off for now this also turns on the shotgun turret down below and that is basically that. So if they do manage to get in here, let's say they smash through all four doors, they break in here. My escape route is here. We come up here, as long as I don't get stuck. Close this, right? And then we can kill them from up here. And then if worst case scenario, they get up here, they break through this, or they start to basically collapse this tower because they can't get to me, then we just run straight out here. Uh, these won't be here, but you can just run and land right on the platform. So the, that door is open, no big deal. They'll come pouring out, but they, most of them won't land on this platform if they do. Uh, if it's a controlled escape, right? Obviously we can just close the door, right? And then jump down, good to go. So that's the goal for tonight. Uh, and that's the setup there. Now this is the upstairs. Um, got all my plants here. This is another place where we can fight from if we had to. If the zombies don't go in there, they stay out here. We can fight them from up here. These are iron bars just protecting my crops. And that's pretty much it. That's it for this base. I've got lanterns lighting this up up here. I find the lanterns are, rather than using torches, lanterns give you tons and tons of light. So once you get the book, the uh, mining perk, which lets you build lanterns, go ahead and do it because it gets gives you tons and tons of light. Um, this one was already here and this bag was already here. Um, in the POI, this is all that's left of the original POI is these two. There was This was all concrete up here, just on a narrow corridor. I had to kind of climb up the uh, wall here to get to this this spot. But uh, this is what kind of where I made my home, extended it all out, reinforced it all, so we're good to go. Okay, well, that's enough of me talking. I think this is pretty much uh, ready to go. There's my land claim block. Um, so we're going to let this uh, advance to Horde Knight, uh, and then we're going to uh, hard rock this Horde. Uh, I don't foresee there being any trouble. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. Like, as you can see, I got lots of potential for making more ammo. But in here, here's our 7.62 ammo. I couldn't make big stacks of it, unfortunately. We're not going to need the 9mm tonight, but we've got tons of 7.62. In here, we got tons of Molotovs. We've got some grenades, exploding arrows, uh, a lot of frag rockets, which we can use. Uh, extra shotgun rounds, dynamite, which I'm not going to, I don't use dynamite or regular HE rounds because these will really damage the base. Uh, you can notice here 2,500 block damage and the dynamite's 3,000 block damage. So we're going to avoid that. Go straight up with this. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to bring any junk turret ammo with me. I don't think we're going to re need to reload the junk turrets, but uh, we've got plenty of grenades, regular, I'm going to use contact grenades mostly because these ones will bounce off of the, uh, um, 
platform and roll down before they explode. So these are the ones I save for my old horde base, which is like right here. Uh, we can toss them down into the barbed wire while they're collected down there and have them explode on them down there. So I'll have those on me as well, just in case we need to retreat, but I don't think we will. Okay, so we're going to jump forward to Horde Knight. Jump forward to Horde Knight, and we'll see how we do. All right, guys, so ooh, before we get to Horde Knight, um, I got an airdrop that came in, and the weird thing about it is... <laughs> I've been looking all game for an M60 machine gun and haven't even found one. No schematics, no nothing. Not even, not even, like no hint of it anywhere. And I come out to pick up this the airdrop and we got an M60. So, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to use that tonight because the base was designed to fight the Horde without the M60. As much as I love to have it, I, you know what I'll do is I'll keep it on me just in case. But uh, I, the uh, base was designed to fight without like having to have heavy firepower like an M60. I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll be better like I could just use it from the beginning of the battle to the end and like not have to worry about it but I think I'm gonna use the AK instead and do like I did last time um, in surviving Alpha 18 and have that M60 for uh, when it's high pressure on the door if I need to use it all right so I'm gonna get back to the house and once again I'll see you at Horde all right here we back we're back at Horde night I got my two kids sitting beside me Hi. So uh, I'm hoping everyone is having a great, safe, happy, uh, happy holiday. Um, I'm recording this on uh, the 25th of December, Christmas Day. So if anyone's uh, enjoying Christmas, then uh, hope you're happy really holidays. enjoying it. Yeah, happy holidays to everybody. So we got a few minutes left here. I got both these doors closed to start. See how it goes. Everything is up and running. The power is on. M60 is all loaded, ready to go. Here's what we're running with. Um, here it comes. Let's see how we do here. I'm interested to see if this double door is going to stop them from coming up here. Oh, no, it won't. It's interesting that uh, dogs, we got dogs first this time. A lot of radiators to start with too, which is kind of nice. Uh, why aren't our electric fences working? Are they too low? Or they just haven't reached them yet? I don't know. Oh, there we go. You know what it is? I think they're hopping over them because of the barbed wire. So once the barbed wire gets, uh, there we go. Once the barbed wire gets up and running, Yeah, big mama. I should probably be using the sniper rifle, but the reason why I don't is because of the uh, serious ammo. Um, like, I can't fire as fast, so... Okay, they're at the door. So let's go upstairs and see if me being up here oops, let's go come on get up here it's gonna make a difference if they decide that they don't want to be here well that's a door clearer if I ever saw one Holy That shotgun's really doing some work down there. All right, let's test this out. Oh, that works just as well. I'll be surprised if they actually get through these first two doors. Okay, here comes the spider zombies. Yeah, they're starting to get confused now, I think. Oh, 
I love how it just goes black for a while. This is fun, I gotta say. <laughs> Get away from my door. I should really save that ammo. Oh. Come on, junk turret, what are you doing? You know, I have to say, this whole base could be done with just explosives, I think. I don't think you need to, uh... I don't think you need guns at all. Yeah, see, they're getting confused. They're running back and forth now. I don't know what they're, uh... They're still coming up, though. Yeah, see, one of the saving graces, too, is that they just fall off, right? we got lots of Molotov. Let's use them. Yeah, they're getting confused. Look at that. They're just burning down there. Enjoy the day. So if this horde lasts beyond, um, if it doesn't last all night, then I'm going to restart the horde again by just restarting the game. Yeah, see, they get up there and they just fall off and circle around. Yeah, they're making, they're working on those pillars down there too. They're getting angry. Oops, I don't know, Molotovs. Uh, let's get the uh, contact grenades. Oops. Let's pull the pin first and then throw the contact grenade. Yeah, they barely even get in here. That shotgun turret, man, doing some work. Hello. Oh, up. Yeah, they're not even through that first door yet. Let's kill, clear a few of these birds out. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's all it's all about narrowing down the, uh... The walkway for these guys to get up on. Cop! Oh, missed that one. Because I didn't... Pull the pit! Yeah, I'm not liking these grenades. Let's go with the, uh, Molotovs. Nope, don't barf on me! Here, hold that for me, will you? Alright, M60 time. Clearing the door of cops. Shredded them. It's like my sign says, guys. Screw zombies. Here, hold this. I don't think they want it. I don't think they want it either. Yeah, I think I need more ammo. I think I'm gonna conserve the shotgun ammo. Oh, oh, no, no, no! I don't know. I'm not sure if they're through that first door yet or not, but I'm going to go down here and 
and uh Just make sure we're good. Let's see if that changes anything. If they still think they can get to me. Oh, yeah. Loading up. Let's not load up. Let's use this. And then let's use this. It's not really about um, inflicting damage on them with those uh, explosives. The idea is to um, knock them off, just to minimize the amount of damage they're doing. Ah, I should have reloaded. Yeah, the barbed wire is not doing as good as I thought. I think it's because it's... Uh... Wow, we're really fighting that recoil. I think it's because... Um... Not the barbed wire, the uh, electric fencing. Look at these guys coming. Look at them. No demolishers yet, though. We got a ton of ammo left. Looks like our shotgun turrets out. Yeah, they're missing it. Like, huh? All right. Hold on to that, guys, while I go down here and. Uh, I think we got a bit of ammo left for our shotgun here. Uh, options. Can we... There we go. Can we get a bird down here? Uh, oh, there's a bird there. Get off of there. Uh, I should really wait for the reload on those. Yo! Get off of my porch. Look at these guys. Look at this. It's not ending. Now, I do have this on max number of zombies, guys. 64 zombies. Because what fun would it be if it wasn't 64 zombies? Get off my front porch. Yeah, they've broken through the first door now. They've broken through that first door. It's going to be a little, little different fight once they get inside. So we better start using up our throwables here. Yo, Dad. Yeah. Why don't you put iron bars there? Because I can't throw stuff through it. Oh, I don't have any oh, shotgun ammo. Right. Dad. What? Do you like chicken? I do. Why are you responding to August? I can't hear you, Vaughn. Bon. That's impossible. <laughs> That's impossible. You're not. Alright, we gotta keep these guys off of the door now. How many rockets do we have left? Four. Look at them flying, that's crazy. I love the fact that the HE doesn't, um, or the uh, frag doesn't actually damage anything. Ah, let's, oh, shotgun's not out of ammo.
Yeah, I think those wires gotta be up higher. I have no idea how far through the door they are. So shotguns out of ammo now. I like that the way that this is set up, it's really mitigating the uh, ability for the zombies to get to me. Now I have no idea if they're knocking on the walls behind me. Now there's... Get off of there. Ooh, say goodbye to your legs, big mama. Alright, let's get... I'm interested to know what they're doing down here. Guess we'll find out in the morning. What time is it? Oh, 45 minutes left. They haven't even broken through this main door yet. I wasn't expecting that. I thought they would get at least get to the inside, but... I guess us keeping them off the main door the way we have. Do do do. Goodbye. Do do do. Goodbye. Oh, I should uh, unlock. <laughs> I was just saying goodbye to my grenade. <laughs> wow, we suck. Uh, oh, for crap's sake, Em. Yeah. <laughs> kids are calling me a loser. I don't blame them. Even I can hold up for Because that was like a total new move. Oh my god, I'm still doing it. <laughs> Hope I can find those in the morning. Those were gifts from the trade. Oop, that's not... Oh. Oh, for crap's sake! Oh, nope. Damn it. I better be able to find those in the morning. <laughs> you just don't want to find them. Alright, that's it for the rocket launcher. Molotovs. We're almost done here. 15 minutes. Oh, I hear a demolisher. Yeah, there he is. Just let him get to the door. You can't do much. Oh, bird. Where's your melee weapon? Oh, I got my melee weapon in my belt, but I'm not using it. Is that kind of a problem? With the ah, that's not a problem. There he is. See, so he fell off. They just, they, they pile up at the door, and they can't get through. So they just turn and they fall off. So I think this base, other than the barbed wire, or this electric wire, is working really well. Like I don't have to do much here, it's just someone down there. Have some fire. And Molotovs are so easy to make. You just hit up the desert for a bit. Get some oil shale. There's that demolisher. Now he's not affected by these guys. Whoops. Two grenades there. You're gonna get a double helping. That was a double explosion. I might as well use these up. They were our trader gifts, but... Oh, shoot. Damn it. Level 58. 
Oh, they just got through the door. They just got through. They don't know what to do. They got through the door and they're like, eh. Did they just run away? I don't know. They kind of went in and then popped back out again. Oh, he's going in. I think they're hitting. They're, yeah, they're hitting on stuff down there now. That's weird. I think they would. They would want to move in more. Oh, somebody got up on there. Oh, it was a spider zombie. What even is that? I think he died. All right, let's go down here. Ah, I repaired that. All right, somebody's downstairs busting on stuff here. Let's get. Let's go see what's left of this horde. So we went through almost 400 rounds of shotgun. Uh, the junk turret's empty. Oh, they, they smashed the bottom down here a bit, though. A little more than I thought they would, but not a lot. Oh, he's still up here. I still think they'll patch that. The blocks? Yeah, the slopes. I don't know how fast they'll patch the slopes. I think they probably will. Do they need to? Eh, I don't know. Yeah, we almost lost these towers here. Huh. I should attach them to the main base as well, I guess. Oh, let's not walk into that. <laughs> let's find out what we got out of this. Oh, That's some food and water. Yeah, crap mostly looks like. Oh, it's level one SWAT helmet. Oh boy. God, just junk. Dad. What? That junk doesn't appreciate you calling it junk. It's mean. Yeah, Dad, the truth hurts. Well, she just called in some more zombies. So the Horde Knight's quite, not quite over. Right here, buddy. It's Looking for me? Day, oh! You came up for me fast. <laughs> Is that it? No. Oh. Let's take care of these, the guys, the good old-fashioned way. I wonder if Merry Christmas. <laughs> Dude, Dad. And happy Dad. Yeah. Interesting thought. Can you make a zombie farm by trapping shriekers? Yes. Yeah, you can... What you can do is you can just put out, um... Campfires. And then, I can't believe I can't hit this person. You put campfires out and you turn them all on. Put a whole bunch of them out. You turn them all on and then the heat in the air goes up real fast. And it'll just start spawning in um, screamers. God, lousy loot here. Stop insulting it. <laughs> it's hurting its feelings. Almost as much as mine. Hazmat mask, cool. Uh, what are we going to do here? Let's use this. And scrap. Uh, anyway, we can stack the ammo. Yep. What's this one? God, more garbage. All right, we got to go drop stuff off inside. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that horde night. That wasn't uh, too bad, actually. We didn't need to retreat to the second base. 
they only got through two doors and I think it was probably because they um, had such a narrow walkway they couldn't stack up on that door so I think for the next horde night uh, I'll definitely stay with this I'm not going to change up my uh, layout in any way 252 uh, not bad we didn't do too badly I guess in loot it could have been better I mean we're not going to make much off that so I'm going to have to spend the next seven days making more m well let's not go through that way <laughs> I just laid relayed all those I forgot I used to have a pathway through there but not right now uh, but yeah so my next horde night when I'm playing here is going to have to be uh, um, oh silencer nice silencer mod Another Magnum, eh. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna have to make all this reinforced steel, which shouldn't be too bad. All these posts will be steel. Uh, most likely, I don't know whether cops blew up down here. Or, I don't think the, the demolisher did, but I think these were cops probably falling off there and exploding. That's my guess. And then maybe the demolisher blew up here. That's my guess. Wait, dad. Cause he did fall off. That's a lot of damage. Dad. Yeah. What you could do there is, is have it so it kind of caves in, so if they do explode down there, it doesn't hit the wall. Yeah, that's a possibility too. Like have something to detonate them out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure this out. Maybe I make this a little thicker. I should probably make it all steel. Just crank out the steel, go for a couple of days of mining iron, turn this all into steel, which we'll put this at 7,000 hit points, a little more, but... I don't know, we'll see how it goes. The walkway remained undamaged pretty much. Really, most of this damage is from me throwing shit down on them. Oh, you know what it was? I got these down one. They're not... That's why. We lost one wire because of this, this guy banging on our stuff over here. But it's angled, that's why. I thought that was intentional. No, I... I don't know how I did that. Big brain dead. Yeah. So I'm going to have to like raise this up one. That's a little bit of work. Not much, but a little bit of work. We'll make a couple more fence posts. We'll buy some. Yeah, we should be good. And they only got through two doors here. Oh, level 6 M60. Nice. And this one barely took any damage. It's not even... Well, it's past the first level. No, it's not. Not even past the first level of 7,000. So... Or is it? Nope, it's not. So yeah, that's it for Horde Night, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you have a great, safe, and happy holidays. Um, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, yeah, if you know, if I get this base even running more smoothly, I'll uh, definitely record it again and post it. But hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, this is like pretty good base design, I think, overall. That was a pretty easy Horde Night for Day 49. Um, the other ones that were in here were a little harder, but this one wasn't so bad. And for the amount of a little bit of concrete, a little bit of rebar, a little bit more paint work, all I have to do is reinforce these to steel. I should probably, there should be, a, I gotta find a way to attach these onto something else. Maybe or maybe I just add more posts. Maybe off the main part. Maybe. I think maybe I just add more posts though. The number of posts will probably help. Like this one, this almost collapsed. And that was from people wailing on stuff down here. Well, you could have the posts and it attached to the building too. Yeah, this one's not so bad because I can attach this to the building here. Right? That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just to, you know, some angled blocks to attach that. So that, but if they took these out, this whole thing would collapse because it's just too heavy. Yeah. But we'll have to see how it goes. I'm gonna get the dart traps up for next time. I'll put a post here, get the dart traps up, firing in their backs. That'll help too. And I think maybe a lot more of them were falling off here than I would like. So I'm probably going to knock out this one block so they can get to the top and make their way onto here. Because they were trying to, they were coming up this way, right? And then going like this, trying to get onto here. But they were getting caught here and sliding right off. They were getting angry, banging on this, and then they were coming back up again, right? So a lot of them were sliding off right here. I'm going to have to make this, because they see this as a full block. This will have to be a full block, I think. We'll leave these angled, but make this a full block so that they can actually just run on there and go along. That way they'll be doing less damage down here, hopefully. But we'll see how it goes. These ones didn't even get used, so I might take them out. 
the first base yeah. design I had, they went through all of these. Well, except for the last two. But we'll see how it goes. All right, gonna end this here, guys. Wait, I hope you wait, enjoyed wait, wait, it. Wait, Dad. But um, hang you on. Also, you could also make it easier uh, at the start there, so so when you throw grenades, it hits more enemies. Like, yeah, could do that too. Down more. I think those grenades I tossed probably despawned by now. Let's hope so. Don't want to run over those backsmen. Bye. Bye. Happy holidays, everybody. See you later.